Welcome to the second part of the Darkwave Studio tutorial. Today I only want to show you how to make uh, a record. Last time we have seen the different areas of the software, but today we only look uh, at the hardy recording functions. So I've told you before you have to connect all um, <coughs> all things um, in the studio. If you don't do so, uh, we hear nothing. And this is the same with the HD recorder. Uh, we have to activate it with the right mouse button. And then we have this, you see it, the recorder track, theory one. And now we have to connect all <coughs> our instruments uh, with that uh <coughs> thing. And it's not uh, very easy because it don't uh, connect anything and we have to uh, take the line out to the line in. And so now we connect all our machines. <coughs> then we have a problem that we have two uh, connections. We have a connection uh, to the HD recorder and we need a second connection. If we don't do the second uh, connection, we cannot do a recording. And you see the arrows, and in the middle of the arrows uh, you can uh, <coughs> reduce the sound or make it louder. If one instrument is too dominant in the mix, you see it, um, we uh, reduce the sound. But we have to do it to, to for two connections, because the master we only hear it to uh, the playback, and the HD recorder, this is that what we're recording. And if it's different, it sound, don't sound very well. Okay, now we have all connected. And take the same level. Better to make it with the mixer, but uh, today we want to make it easy. And so we only um, take this um, strategy here. Okay, now we had played it, and now we record it, and it's important, the first step, to select the file to save to. If we don't name a file, it's not possible to make a recording. This is very important. And then we have to use the right buttons. It's a little uh, difficult because they have so much record buttons. And better go to sequence editor and take that uh, record button. You hear anything. And now you hear the record. We can stop the record now. And then I have told you before, we can take the free software Outer City to make the sound better and fatter and nicer. We only open. Uh, our wave we had produced with uh, Darkwave Studio, only open. Uh, where is it? Okay, you see it's many too loud and so we take effects, we normalize it. It's very nice effects, normalizing, fade in, fade out, uh, to make a compression and so on. And now you hear it's a little better.
then you can make funny things, okay, it's done to fade in, but uh, wow wow effects, and it's very funny, you hear it. And at last, with the compression effect, you make the sound a little fatter and nicer. And you can take out all clicks and pops and so on with the kick filter. It's a um, very nice effect too. And oh, that's all. And then the waveform you can um, export, it's important not to save, to export, and then you have your wave. And th with that you can work with another software, uh, can do what you want. That's all. Thank you very much. Until the next time. Bye.